there's all different kinds of pies. So we're gonna make ours with these beautiful head-on prawns, or chia sausage, which is blood sausage. Basic sofrito, and then our rice and everything else. Here's the beauty about paella. Paella is a rice dish. The key is making sure that the rice is cooked tender while forming a crust on the bottom of the pan. That's what makes paella special. The other stuff is, is sprinkles. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry up the shells a little bit in the oil. I'm gonna get all these cut and ready to go first. Take the tip of our knife and I cut straight down the back here and then we'll clean them all. You always wanna work as efficient as possible. We get them all cut, then we get them all clean, then we go. That's the intestinal track, we'll just say it like that, of the shrimp. So we're gonna take that out. Now, there's all different kinds of pies. You know, sometimes you see them with lobster, sometimes you see them with clams, pasta. sometimes you see them with what? Pasta. <laughs> No pasta, never pasta in paella. The dish is a rice dish, so we would never serve pasta with a rice dish, D. Did you ever see the movie Big Night? There's a famous scene when a customer's at the table and they order risotto, and they get the risotto and they said, where's my side of pasta? And the Italian chef went crazy because he's like, what, what they want starch on starch? <laughs> Moving on, shrimp is cleaned. So I'm gonna put my pans on here in about a medium high heat, liberally oil the bottom of that pan. We're gonna hit our shrimp with some salt and then we're gonna place our shrimp in here and just let it sear. You it smell? It smells good. Yeah, if you were just to cook shrimp without the shells on, this you wouldn't get this smell. That is the shell throwing its, its flavor into the oil and it's making a shrimp oil right now. These are almost ready. I'm gonna start cutting up my sausage. I'm using a morchia. It's like a partially air dried sausage. It's almost in between like a breakfast sausage and a salami. All right, so we're gonna pull these out. Now we're gonna take our blood sausage and I'm gonna put the discs in there and let those start to sear. When you're cooking anything in a pan, the worst thing you can do is crowd the pan. If you look in here, this is spaced out, which allows the heat to conduct itself through the pan and everything to cook evenly. Now that that's searing, we're gonna start our sofrito. So I have two Cubanello peppers. We're just gonna chop this in the chunks. I'm leaving the seeds and all the goodies. Red, one whole jalapeno, seeds and ribs in there. See how this is nice and caramelized and brown? So these all get flipped. An onion, so onion gets cut up into chunks. Garlic, we just wanna get the skin off of it. Pull my sauces out. And all this is gonna make its way back in. I'm just gonna push these off the heat temporarily, and I'm gonna put some cilantro in my sofrito. Sofrito is the, the blend of peppers, onions, garlic. In French cuisine, they say mirepoix. In Spain and Italy, they often say sofrito. New Orleans, they'll call it the holy trinity. So there's all, all different names and slightly tweaked ingredients to basically the same stuff. And we're gonna break it down till it becomes like a paste. I'm gonna just go around one time some of those bigger chunks got to the top, and you don't want those bigger chunks. All right, so sofrito's ready. So now the pans go back on the heat, and we're gonna start cooking out our sofrito. When this is cooking out, the, the liquid is gonna begin to evaporate. It's gonna get insanely aromatic in here, and then it's gonna start to kind of sweat and caramelize. Then we're gonna add our tomato paste. Then we're gonna add our rice. Now we take our two tomatoes, and we're just gonna grate them on our box grater to get out kind of all the goodness. I'm gonna put our tomatoes in there, another pinch of salt over both of these, and these are just gonna keep cooking down. Now I gotta get my rice and my liquids ready. They always use short grain rice in paella, but the key is you need three parts liquid to one part rice. So we got one cup rice, one cup wine, two cups chicken stock, which gets us to our three to one. So this one's starting to dry out. See how that liquid is almost completely evaporated and it's starting to brown? Now to that, we're gonna add our tomato paste. You never wanna just put tomato paste in and not cook it out. You want it to get a little bit rusty in its colors. Next thing, we add our rice. And we're just getting a little bit of fat on there, getting a little caramelization on it. Brings out some of the nutty characteristics of the rice. I'm gonna deglaze with my white wine. And we're stirring and letting this pretty much simmer, not a full boil. And then once this liquid is cooked out, we're gonna add our stock, give it one more stir, and then 
As soon as it comes up to a simmer, we're done stirring. I'm gonna put in some paprika, a little pinch of cumin. Now, as that liquid's almost gone, I'm gonna add my sausage back in. I'm gonna add our chicken stock. So now we're stirring, stirring. And then as soon as this starts to burble, we're gonna stop with the stirring. When you give it the last stir, though, make sure you get the bottom of that pan so none of your rice is sticking. I'm gonna drop this down to a simmer, this one. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Just that nice little... Burble. Soft dance, yeah, burble. <laughs> <laughs> What I want to happen now is I want that crust to form on the bottom. So if I stir it now, I'm gonna disrupt the bottom and then I'm not gonna get the crust. We're just waiting. And then we're gonna put the shrimp in at the end to finish. We'll give a little, some fun history. So like this would be like a dish that it was a very celebratory kind of get together dish where the paella pans were like you could feed 20 and you would do it over a fire outside. And then they just, you know, they, you'd sit and you'd build the whole thing with a huge sofrito. And that's the ones where you would see with like, Clams, mussels, shrimp, lobster, chicken, chorizo. That's when it's really fun. I mean, this is fun too, but this is like a, like a personal pan paella. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna take our shrimp. We peeled off the shell. It's about three quarters of the way cooked. So now we're just gonna place it and the heat will finish cooking these the rest of the way through. When you see that that liquid is really kind of almost gone. You could sneak a spoon down in there to see if that crust is forming yet. But it's all, you gotta have a little bit of patience. You know, you gotta trust it. Right, so this is almost there. Hey, stay. A little bit of cilantro, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. When you get it, you could kind of scrape that bottom. And you get that crust. All through there, you can see how it kind of formed. I scraped it off so it's in your rice. All right, you guys ready to eat? Yeah. Yes. yes.